Hi, welcome to my movie and stitch review for the letter G. The movie I chose is The Goddess. It was released in 2013. It's PG, parental guidance recommended, and it runs about an hour and 45 minutes. It is a romance comedy come musical. So I'll read you the synopsis. Elspeth Dickens, played by Laura Michelle Kelly, dreams of finding her voice despite being stuck in an isolated farmhouse with twin boys. A webcam she installed in her kitchen becomes her pathway to fame and fortune through singing funny sync songs into the webcam. Helsa becomes a cyber sensation. While husband James, played by Ronan Keating, is off saving the world's whales. Halsever is offered the chance of a lifetime, but when forced to choose between fame and family, the newly anointed internet goddess nearly loses it all. So, Laura Michelle Kelly. I had to do some research. I'd never heard of her. She's an English singer-actress, better known for her roles in the West End Theatre District on stage in London. She's appeared in a couple of other acting roles. She appeared in an episode of Agatha Christie's Marple, the episode Nemesis, and in Sweeney Todd, the episode The Deeb and Barber of Fleet Street. She does have a lovely voice. Ronan Keating, Irish singer-songwriter, was one of the front Irish band members for Boy Zone. He started his solo career in 1999. This is when I probably became a big fan and I have seen him in concert live. He is awesome. He gained worthy world attention when he released the single When You Say Nothing At All and it was featured in the movie Notting Hill. Now if I can find a YouTube video to that, I'll put it in the description below. He is definitely a better singer than actor, <laughs> my opinion. He should stick to singing and leave the movies alone. It also stars Magda Zabanski. Now, Magda Zabanski was born in England, but we claim her as an Australian. She's an all-round performer. She appears in everything, comedy, stage, drama, you name it. She has noted well movie roles when she was in the movie Babe and the sequel Babe in the City, a story about a farm pig. She is brilliant in that. She is an activist for the LGBTIQA community. Please do not add any more letters and other diverse genders. She's very outspoken here in Australia and supported of those communities. I like her as an actress and I like her as a person for the courage she has to stand up for what she believes in. I really do like her a lot. So... What did I think to this movie? Well, I enjoyed it. I don't mind a good musical. Um, it's really great. Of course, Ryan and Keating can sing beautifully. But Laura Michelle Kelly has a beautiful voice and she does a great job of this. And there are lots of laughs. It brought back memories of raising two little boys. The opening scenes in this, if you've got little kids, will go, oh, I'm not alone. Everyone experiences this. I did enjoy this movie. It did go a tad long and there are a couple of places in the script that were really corny. But other than that, it was, you know, a great movie. And I give it four out of five stars. It inspired me because I need to do tea towel toppers. It inspired me to make some nice pretty ones that um, go with the colours that were in the movie. I need to find a nice button for this one to do that. But yeah, I did two tea towel toppers. Um, I am pretty quick at doing them. You can find this movie on Google Play. It was on Stan, which is an Australian um, streaming service here. And I do believe it may be on Netflix. But don't quote me on that. This is a fun movie to watch and I enjoyed the musical so much and it was raining that day. I decided I would go and watch Rocket Man about Elton John because I am an Elton John fan. I did watch, um, oh, I can't remember what it was called, 
the one that's about Freddie Mercury with Rami Malek. I like him as an actor, but Rocket Man is definitely the better movie because the guy who plays Elton John actually sings. So I watched two musicals in one day and I enjoyed them. I don't know if musicals are everybody's cup of tea. There's some old ones I don't like and there's some old ones I do like. Anyway, guys, that is my movie review for the letter G. For the letter H, I will be watching The Hunter, which is set in Tasmania. So it will be, and from what I can see of the previews, it's cold and wet. And so I might be making beanies, maybe. Who knows? We'll see what the movie inspires me to make. It stars William Defoe, who did a lot of acting down under during that period. So there you have it, guys. I hope you check out the, um, Goddess and you enjoy it. So stay safe, take care of each other, and make sure you have one movie crafty day. Bye for now.